Hello and welcome to round 12 of the November 13 Cappuccino League at vrrun.co.uk Our final sayonara to the Cappuccinos on GT5 as we get into the build up for GT6 So, more good racing I hope to come We've got Z Kart on pole JK in second Freddy Cat third, Mr. Green fourth, DM fifth, Slash sixth, Scalebreaker in a lowly seventh, still on the pad, remember. Mlada behind him in eighth, Ginobi ninth, myself Slicker in tenth, Stuntman in eleventh, Hatcher twelfth. Dad Racer Rob, Rayman, and Jumpy Bob. So, to the start. down to the first corner, very tight hairpin, all looking good and clean so far. Into the Mercedes Arena. And we're off. Very good clean start. And we're riding on board now with Scalebreaker, who's made it up to third. Well, that's interesting. Let's just go back and watch that one from the top. See how Scalebreaker makes it from seventh to third in the space of a couple of corners. Not an exceptional start, others did better. Got a slipstream, obviously, coming down to the first corner. Goes for the wide outside line. Cuts back inside slash. Slash coming back, still in seventh at this point, but then he cuts to the inside. And he's down, ooh, down the inside of DM through to fourth. Ahead you've got JK, Freddy Cat going a bit wide and Zedcar off in the lead. And JK trying to lean on us here but Scale having none of it. And he's through to third. And challenging Freddy Cat hard for second. So let's see what's happening further back. very small gap developed now between the first five and the Skaggle, Mr. Green, Mladder and Slash. Myself getting in on the act, passing Slash. And Hatcher also having a go and succeeding. Slash not happy with that, comes back down the inside. He's got past Hatcher. And that's someone going off ahead. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. But looks like it must have been Scalebreaker actually. Let's just uh, go back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can't go back and watch the whole lap with Scalebreaker. We've already watched half of it, so let's watch it from the back. And then we'll switch to scale breaker a bit later on. Excellent clean start, I have to say. No problems at all. 15 cars on the track. And all good clean racing.
can see Stuntman's got pushed wide there. Rayman through to 13. Stuntman coming back. Ooh, slaps him hard there. And Rayman off. Stuntman struggling to recover from that. Possibly waiting for Rayman to come back. Obviously aware that he um, was guilty in that and indeed has waited for Rayman to catch up. Now back with scale breaker quick. Here we go. Oh, he's just taken a bit too much of the curb going through the final chicane there and it's pushed him out wide onto the grass and back down to fifth. Challenged by Mr. Green now. And Mr. Green's got the better of the slipstream, I believe. Ahead, you can see DM and JK side by side. JK holding that position, third. Scale breaker now back through on Green. And Clear fifth. Mulada, myself, and Slash, Hatcher. Slash getting a bit much of the curb there, but manages to hold it. And he's uh, alongside, making a move down into the hairpin. Zedkart has pulled out a bit of a gap now on Freddy Cat. Freddy Cat doing everything he can to uh, close it down. And he's made quite a bit of ground up in the braking zone there. JK through in third, DM fourth. Scale fifth, challenging DM for fourth. And he's dived to the inside on the final hairpin. And I think he's probably made that one stick. Oh, Mr. Green's getting back in on the act here. And Slash. And Ladder. And Hatcher. And uh, I'm not sure what happened to me. I lost a couple of places there. Not to worry. Rada having a bit of an issue there. And a gentle tap from myself on Hatcher. Recovers well. No problems. Back, Dad Racer Rob, Jumpy Bob, Stuntman, and Rayman. Zed Cart and Freddy Cat fighting for the lead here. Through the final corner and on to lap four for thirteen. Gaggle with scale breaker just ahead of DM, Mr. Green, and Slash. Mr. Green and DM going side by side there, and Mr. Green comes out ahead. 
slash behind. Back on board was Freddy Cat and uh, Zed Cart's pulled out a lead again. It's quite a big lead to pull out in that short a distance, so maybe Freddy Cat made a bit of a mistake somewhere. JK now right off the back of these two. The scale breaker closing in a little on JK, I fancy. Mr. Green's still close behind him. Slash drop back a tiny bit now. And DM also. I'm not quite sure what happened there. The Mlada has suddenly dropped all the way down to 11th. We were on board with him, I didn't see what happened. Um, I'm not going back a whole lap to find out. I'll just, uh, to let that one go, I'm afraid. No damage to his car, so maybe he just had a bit of a wobble. Certainly seemed very slow through the last corner. He's back on the pace now and chasing down Ginobi and myself. Field seem to be fairly well strung out at the moment. Think possibly a little bit of action going on here. Hatcher on DM goes to the outside and breaks late, and he's through. Well played. DM down the inside into the last corner. Bit of contact and he backs out and allows Hatcher on his way. Jayco's car and we've got Scalebreaker challenging for third. Mr. Green close behind. Slash has dropped off the back of this group a little now. with Hatcher now, looking back at myself, Mlada, Ginobi and DM. Through the chicane. Another good race from Hatcher I have to say here. Yeah. Doing very well. Across the stripe we go on to lap 7. Now I've just noticed that uh, something's happened to JK, so I'm going to go back a lap and see exactly what happened here. On board with Scalebreaker, 
challenging JK for third. Doesn't quite make it. Good so far, no apparent problems. And uh, if anything, JK pulling out slightly on Scalebreaker, but of course, Scalebreaker will be in the slipstream as they come up this back straight. So, approaching the final chicane. Scale break with a wheel on the dirt, trying to go round the inside of JK. JK slams his brakes on, and um, serious damage to scale and also to JK. Not quite sure what that was all about. allowed Mr. Green to get onto the back of uh, Scalebreaker, who is now, as I said, carrying serious front end damage. Zed Cart away in the distance. And Freddy Cat. And a bit of action going on back here between myself and Hatcher. Try to make a move down the inside, a bit of a touch, a bit of a wobble, but space given to recover. And I've got to run down to the hairpin. Side by side through the hairpin and out, and into the Kumo. stays ahead. Uh, a bit of a chop by me on the ladder there, didn't realise he was alongside me. And as you can see we've now got quite a gaggle. JK dropped off the back of this, carrying all that damage. So we'll just watch this from Genobi. through the chicane safely into the last corner. Taking Slicker taking a bit much curb there but it slows him down a bit. And the ladder looks as if he's uh, shaping up for a move here. And DM down the outside I see. Hatch has made a bit of a break from this group now. Oh, oh dear. I think Mladder getting into DM, or was it DM getting into Mladder? And absolute chaos kicking off there. JK now back up to 8th, Mladder 9th. Dad Racer Rob now through tonight. DM in 11th. Stuntman through to 11th. And up to 12th. Serious damage on ladder. Light damage to DM. Heavy damage to Ginobi. And that's done JK a couple of favours. He's back up into the points. And leaves myself and Hatcher to fight over sixth place now. So 
how's it going at the front? Zed car still clear of Freddy Cat. Mr. Green now in third. With Slash and Scale Breaker in close attendance. Scalebreak can now carry damage on three corners of his car. I did notice also Mr. Green has some damage, so I'm guessing there was a little coming together there as well. Now it's not easy to handle a car with uh, that much damage when you're driving on a steering wheel. With this much damage on a pad, Quite a handful, as you can see. And I think that's Scale Breaker's um, race pretty well run. And Slash still challenging Mr. Green for third. Tries the outside at the chicane, can't get it done. Green defending into the last corner. Will that give Slash a run on him? It does. And I'd be surprised to see these positions remain the same as, of, as far as the first corner. And Slash is through. But Mr. Green cuts back. Retains his third place. Well played. Scale break is still dropping back from this. And, uh, myself and Hatcher. A little further back. thinking about taking a dive into the hairpin, thinks better of it. And all good clean stuff for that. I see Stuntman making some progress here, he's just got past Dad Racer Rob. Ginobi and DM who've all pitted and got their damage repaired. I'm lucky not to get a yellow there I think. But that's the way it goes. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Lap 11 and 13 now, on board with Mr. Green. In back, Slash still pretty close. And Scalebreaker doing well to hang on the back of these with all the damage he's carrying. Myself and Hatcher still in close company. Both running a little wide there. JK still struggling on in eighth with his uh, damaged rear end. Stuntman, Dad Racer Rob, Jumpy Bob. Genovi and DM. Mm -hmm. On board with Freddy Cat, we can't even see Zed Carter ahead. Pulled out a commanding lead. 
Mr. Green in third, with Slash still close behind, and possibly with a bit of a run on him here. Can he make it down the outside into the first corner? into turn two. And Hatch has got back ahead of myself. Only two really close battles on the track at the moment. This one and the one ahead for third place between Mr. Green and Slash. As we come down to the chicane for the second last time, a little bit of contact between myself and Hatcher, and another one. Uh, nothing malicious or deliberate there from either driver. Just a, one of those little racing incidents. And both live to fight for the sixth position a bit longer. I see Slash and Mr. Green ahead side by side once more. Mr. Green doing very well to hold Slash off. On to the last lap now. Zed Cart still way off in the lead with Freddy Cat in a clear second place. Mr. Green and Slash fighting for third. Scale breaker just a, a little way behind these, but still close enough to be able to pick up the position if um, either of those two were to make a mistake. And the hatch just seems to have broken clear from myself to sixth place. And in fact, I've got JK now all over me. I had a bad run through the, those S's. <coughs> Oops. I think maybe that uh, might have been a bit heavy cut there on the chicane, but it didn't avail me of anything. Still unable to get back past JK. And have to settle for eighth. Stuntman comes across the line in ninth. Dad Racer Rob tenth. Jumpy Bob eleventh. Mulata twelfth. Ginobi thirteenth. Although this one may uh, yet have a story to tell. As Ginobi tries to make the move for twelfth. has got that covered. Oh, maybe not. Ginobi down the inside. Oh, a bit late on the throttle there and Ginobi has let uh, Mladen take that position. Okay. Let's have a look at the live timings. Unsurprisingly, uh, Zed Car has the best lap with a 42-1, and uh, 
couple more in the 42s. We've got uh, Slash with a 42.5. Uh, Mr. Green and Scale both 42.7s. Freddy Cap 42.8. JK 42.9. And some 43s and a couple of 44s. Okay, so that's the racing. And um, great racing it's been. I'd just like to say a big thank you to Mustard and uh, all his little helpers at VR Room who've made the racing what it is. And um, thanks to everybody participating in this series. Thanks to everybody who's helped me along the way. And also a big thank you to Kazunori Yamauchi for making the best console sim possible. And we look forward to seeing what he's done with GT6. Thanks very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. And uh, who knows, maybe in the new year we'll see some more.